Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome again to the house of the Lord. This morning as we celebrate God's word, we're going to be looking at truth and the glorious truth that there is only one truth. That's God's word, the promise that he gives to us. But it's more than an academic truth. It's that truth that allows us to live our lives in confidence, knowing where our help comes from and living in the certainty of our salvation. For our worship, we'll be following the service of word and sacrament on page 26. We join in singing our first hymn, 142, Come, Be Faithful, Raise the Strength. Again, we follow the service of word and sacrament on page 26, and I ask you to believe it. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And also with you. God invites us to come into his presence and worship him with humble and penitent hearts. Therefore, let us acknowledge our sinfulness and ask him to forgive. Holy and merciful Father, I confess that I am by nature sinful, and that I have disobeyed you in my thoughts, words, and actions. I have done what is evil, and failed to do what is good. For this I deserve your punishment, both now and in eternity. But I am truly sorry for my sins, and trusting in my Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray you. Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. God, our Heavenly Father, has been merciful to us and has given His only Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Therefore, as a called servant of Christ and by His authority, I forgive you of all of your sin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We pray. For all that we need in life and for the wisdom.
wisdom to use all your gifts with gratitude and joy. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord. For the steadfast assurance that nothing can separate us from your love, and for the courage to stand firm against the assaults of Satan and every evil, hear our prayer, O Christ. For the well-being of your holy church in all the world, and for those who offer here their worship and praise, hear our prayer, O Lord. Merciful God, maker and preserver of life, Uphold us by your power and keep us in your tender care. The works of the Lord are great and glorious. His name is worthy of praise. said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we are being questioned today for a kind act that was done to the lame man as to how this man has been healed, then let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that it was by the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. By him, this man stands before you healed. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to people by which we must be saved. This is God's word. We continue by singing together Psalm 30, which is on page 76.
lesson for this morning. It's taken from 1 John chapter 1 and chapter 2, the first two verses. section in which John explains to us our fellowship, not just with one another, but with God. How we, by our sins, were separated from God. But because of his works, because of his redemption, we have been clean. And we are now members of God's family, brothers and sisters with one another. 1 John 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have observed and our hands have touched regarding the word of life, the life appeared, and we have seen it. We testify and proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We are proclaiming what we have seen and heard also to you, so that you may have fellowship with us. Our fellowship is with the Father and his Son, Jesus Christ. We write these things to you so that our joy may be complete. This is the message we heard from him and proclaim to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him but still walk in darkness, we are lying and do not put the truth into practice. But if we walk in the light, just as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I write these things to you so that you will not sin. If anyone does sin, we have an advocate before the Father, Jesus Christ the Righteous One. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the whole world. This is God's word. We continue on page 30 with the verse of the day, taken today from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 32. Alleluia, Christ is risen, is risen indeed. Alleluia. Our hearts were burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us. Alleluia. stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were terrified and frightened and thought they were looking at a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still did not believe it, because of their joy, and while they were still wondering, he said to them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and some honeycomb. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. And he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. He said to them, This is what is written, and so it must be. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Look, I am sending you what my Father promised, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Please be seated. We continue with our next hymn, 153, Alleluia, Jesus Lives, verses 1 and 2.
invite the children with us this morning to come forward for our children's message. disciples, which was a student, and um, Peter today is standing on trial. He's in court. And they want to put him in jail because he did something pretty awesome that they didn't like. He took a man who was lame, that's who couldn't walk. You know, that, you know anybody who can't walk? That's sad, isn't it? When they, when they either maybe are in a wheelchair or they're 